Hi guys, it's Maya, and I'm here with a, a new video. Oh. It's been a long time, like four weeks. I've missed making a video so much. Enter. Oh, okay. Anyway, today's video is going to be about some new music and some new artists that I've been really loving since the last time I made a video, which has been like a week. So this is just gonna be my, my music review for everything I've heard so far. So let's start off with something that just came out very recently. Uh, I'm thinking like uh, last week, and that is Lady Gaga's Art Pop. Wait, let me come here. Okay, I'm just gonna turn. Art pop. Can you see that? Yes, it's art pop. Pop! Art pop! Oh, this didn't really work out. I was going, okay, whatever. So there's a whatever. Anyway, so we got this art pop. So I'm just gonna tell you guys some songs from the album I love to pieces and bits. I love Aura. I love Venus. I love Sex Dreams. I love Jewels and Drugs. I know no one likes Jewels. I love Jewels and Drugs. That's my jam. I love Do Do What You Want, What You Want, Mama Body. As soon as I heard that song, that was my jam. I love Art Pop. I love Swine. I love Mary Jane Holland. I love Dope. I love Gypsy. And I love Applause. Basically, I love the whole entire album. This album, by thumbs up, was a 9 out of 10 for me. So, if anybody has not picked up Art Pop, you need to pick up Art Pop because Art Pop, it's just, it's just amazing. Like, it's truly bringing pop back. Um, some more news is Mariah Carey just released her new song, Art of Letting Go. Uh, I, I mean, the song's okay. You know, if anybody knows me... I am a Mariah stan. I love Mariah Carey. I have every single Mariah Carey album single ever created. <laughs> I have all the Lux Edition albums. I love Mariah. Like I I go anywhere from Mariah. So when the new song came out, I don't I don't know what the album's gonna sound like off this like off this new song. I don't care what the album sounds like. You know, Mariah always sometimes has you know, bad tracks, but I still support the tracks. So yes, I did purchase The Art of Letting Go, but it is not my favorite Mariah song. That's all I'm going to say about it. It's just that I feel like it's missing something. So yeah. Um, another artist um, I would like to highlight is Britney Spears. She came out with her new song, Perfume. Perfume is like a ballad. I mean, it's Britney singing. It's nice. Um, I feel like it's just like a ad for her new perfume, which I will be getting. So that's all you need to know about perfume. Um, another artist is going to surprise so many people when I see this. When I say, let's see, when I say this, Justin Bieber. What? <laughs> Justin Bieber. What? Yes, yes, yes. I have been following Justin Bieber's. I. Music Mondays and Lord, Lord, so help me. I actually enjoy the Music Mondays. God. I can't help it. I am a sucker for good music, and Justin's been good at putting out some quality music. Now, I always see trending on Twitter. I'm not really a Twitter buff, but I always see a trend in Music Mondays, Music Mondays, and I'm like, what is Music Mondays one day? So I finally, I just went and looked up the Music Mondays on YouTube and all the Music Mondays popped up, and I've been jamming out to Justin Bieber. And yesterday, PYD came out, and PYD with R. Kelly is my jam. Now, I feel like R. Kelly is starting to come back, and I don't know, like, I, I don't really remember what happened, but I looked it up, and I don't know if I really feel comfortable with R. Kelly now that I've looked it up. So someone tell me, do should we give R. Kelly a pass because he's talented? Honestly, I feel like we shouldn't give him a pass because we give we like sidetrack so many other people that done some stuff, but they're talented. I mean, he's a talented. So like, are we gonna do the same thing for Chris Brown? Like, he's talented, but we 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 haven't really given we gave him a pass, but we were like. We want to give you a pass, but we don't know, man. But R. Kelly, we just let him back in. Like, he's like, okay. We're like, okay, we don't care. You're making good music. So, 
someone put, just comment down below should we give him a pass I don't know because I it's like a touchy touchy subject uh, it's Christmas season. That means more Christmas music's coming out. Uh, my favorite Christmas album of all time. Like I said earlier, I'm a Mariah Carey fan, but this is my favorite, favorite Mariah Carey album. And I only listen to this album during Christmas. I don't listen to it any other time because it ruins the album. Because it's this type of. This is the best Christmas album I've ever heard. It's Merry Christmas to You. This is the album right before she's about to have her children. If you do not have this Christmas album, you need to go out there and purchase it. It's a really well put together Christmas album. She's giving vocals. It's amazing. It's nice. Now, I heard Tamar has her Christmas album out. I haven't heard Tamar Braxton's Christmas album. I don't plan on hearing Tamar Braxton's Christmas album. If you like Tamar Braxton's Christmas album, tell me about it. Maybe I'll check it out. Just listen to a couple tracks. But I don't plan on purchasing it. And today, Ariana Grande released her new song. Uh, I don't know if she's doing Christmas album, but it's a Christmas song. It's called Last Christmas. It's very cute and upbeat. And she's like, Last Christmas. It's a very Ariana-esque. And I really like it. So if you guys enjoy me doing reviews, if you want a more in-depth review on Art Pop, I'll create a more in-depth one. It's just that I've been so busy lately. That's why you guys haven't seen me for like a month and I've been missing this. Like, if, if you know me, you know I've been talking about, oh my god, I need to make a video. Oh my god, I miss making 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 a video. So, like, I finally made a video and I just, I just feel so, feel so whole again. So whole. Just like a whole. Okay. Another person. <laughs> this video will not be getting edited. Um, oh, some more music I've been really into. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've been really into a whole bunch of like 90s music. Corinne Bailey, right? I've just been getting all the music I used to listen to way back when I was like five. <laughs> Not I got Raven album. I got Raven. I got all these albums. I just I just went album crazy one day. I was just like I'm just gonna buy all these albums. I just bought them all. Just, just bought them all. Now I've just been listening to old music. People are like, what are you listening to? I'm like TLC. <sighs> crazy sexy cool. I've heard after that TLC movie, I've been listening to TLC a lot. So if you guys have any other requests for other videos, I will be happy to do them. Um. I promise I will not be late again. Oh, I'm seeing The Hunger Games tomorrow. Oh, I'll do a review on the movie. Yeah, I'm seeing The Hunger Games tomorrow. It's a special screening Thursday. Thursday, I will do a review on an in-depth review on The Hunger Games. I'm not going to do any spoils, spoilers, but I will talk about the new movie and what I think and how I think Finnick did. Is it just me or am I kind of angry that Finnick got cast as that one guy? I don't even know what his name is. Like, I don't imagine... Do, do I want to be in love with him? No. Like, when Finnick is supposed to walk on the stage, it's just me. I'm supposed to be like, oh my god, I want to be with him forever. I love you. When he walks on the stage, I just feel like... Ah, I guess... I mean, you're not as buff as I imagined. You're not as beautiful as I imagined. I mean, you're not ugly. You're not hideous. But, uh, uh, you know who Zach gets wrong. Liam Hensworth, you're not, you're supposed to be like, that's, when, I, when you come on stage, I should be like, oh, honey, come over, come, what am I doing, <laughs> when you come on the stage, that's what you're supposed to be like, not like, let me exam let me show you what I think the Phoenix, this guy's gonna come out like, this is where I imagine real Finnick. I'm Finnick. This is imagine this guy. Okay. I'm Finnick. I don't want that. No, I'm one. I'm Finnick, but not like me. But I'm Finnick. <laughs> so yeah, I think this video is overdue over because I've just been rambling for a couple of minutes about nonsense oh i watch ravenswood too if you want to do reviews about ravenswood 
I watched the Carrie Diaries. My eyes got really big. I watched the Carrie Diaries, so if you going to do reviews on the Carrie Diaries, I'll be happy to do reviews on that show because all oh, the fashion. Oh, I should do a fashion review. Oh my god, if you guys want me to do makeup tutorials, I'll do that. I'll just do. I like to do all sorts of things. I'll teach you guys how to knit. Just post underneath the comments. And follow me in, on my social media Instagram, at Maya Great, and my Twitter, at Maya Great. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Please comment. I love responding to comments. If you didn't look at my four week ago video, the Katy Perry, I responded to all the comments where they were good, bad, horrible, ugly. Just tell me what you think about stuff, and we'll, we'll discuss it, because I like to talk to people. So, have a nice night, or day, or whatever time it is in your world. And don't forget, I was going to say something really smart, but then I forgot. The life of Maya. Why? Subscribe for monkeys. Uh -huh.